Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's Adam back here, and today I have my first CAC figure review in a while. It has been around six months since I uploaded my last one, and I'm finally happy to announce that I'll be doing some more reviews on these figures, as I have 143 of them, so I figured I might as well. <laughs> um, so, the first one I'm going to be reviewing today is the Heavy Class from the Battlefront 2 2017 game. So, I normally would be reviewing the squad, but unfortunately I did not have the specialist. Um, but, or I don't have the phase 2 plane trooper that I could put together to make the specialist. So, unfortunate, but we'll just have to roll with it. Because uh, normally I'd be doing them in squads, uh, hopefully, so I don't have to go through all 143 of them. But, uh, yeah, so his base price is $24 on Clone Army Customs. Um, he's actually $31 with the capes, the sun visor, and the minigun, um, and the backpack. And then the backpack it, itself, as you see, is the Open Republic pack. It is the non-printed version, as I got this figure before they released the printed versions. And, yeah, it features the standard, uh, I'll zoom in, the standard Clone Army Customs Phase 2 Heavy Trooper helmet. Um, the only special part about this figure that separates it from the Phase 2 Plane Trooper, I believe, is the uh, right arm and the helmet. Everything else is basically just basic prints. Um, there's nothing really significant about it. Even the Phase 2 Heavy Trooper helmet is uh, dark gray with black. That's the only part of it that's different. And, uh, yeah, it's... $31 with the capes and the capes it, themselves work really well, but they're also not very good uh, They don't last long. I've already had I've only had this figure for about a month And it's already starting to wear on these sides you can see right there So yeah, but onto the arm detailing you can see that arm detail just has an ammo pack and some straps on the sides The other arm is pretty much plain. Uh, it's got one little gray patch right there and yeah, um, the cloth itself, the front cloth is actually a Bakara style cloth, you could say. Um, it comes on their Bakara figure, it's just black and gray this time. Um, and it works really well with the figure and it looks really nice. And it's nice, it covers the torso area very uh, tightly so it doesn't look like it's standing out. And the waist cape itself is just a black uh, wa full waist cape and it is... Um, already starting to show some wear, but overall it fits the figure very nicely. And the CAC minigun itself also has a very nice um, just look to it with the figure. The It's just a standard gun, nothing special about it. And yeah, so um, I like to keep these reviews short and sweet, so I've already gone over everything, and that's what I'll be doing from now on. But um, I'd rate this figure probably on... The value of getting it is probably not as uh, much as others. If I was to rate it on a scale from 1 to 10, it'd probably be like a 6 on the value side. Um, it's a really good figure to get, but it's not essential uh, to building mocks or whatever you're going to do with your CAC, just displaying them in general. Um, it's a pretty basic figure. I think you can actually buy the helmet and everything separately when it goes on sale. And I'm not sure about the arm. I'm not sure if the arm really matters, but if you really want to, you can make it cheaper than they offer on the site. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, really short, sweet review. I'm going to try and upload more of these soon. And I hope you guys like this new style uh, with the background and the turntable. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.